Happy Patch Tuesday, everyone. We made it to September. We made it to our 11th episode of Fix Tuesday. Has Patch been Tuesday 11? has been 11. Wow. It's been uh, almost almost a whole year since we started doing this. It does not feel like it. but it, It's astounding, right, to, to think that, like, we, you know, we started this less than a year ago and... I mean, we're, you know, I don't know if you saw, but, but on YouTube and by the time this airs, we probably will be over it. We're almost at like 40,000, uh, uh, subscribers, right? Like that's, a, that's mind blowing to me that it's blown up. Cause I remember recording in July and saying, you know, Hey, we're at 25,000 and like, that's just, it's, it's really impressive. Um, and I have no idea how we did it. <laughs> That's None. probably how we did it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's all the uh, you know painstaking dedication we put into these, all the prep work we do, right? That's right. That's right. All the hours of reading before and, and our... designing these super sweet, uh, you know, Fix Tuesday t-shirts. Yeah, like, that's yeah, what yeah. really that's that's the t-shirts. What put that's us the over key. The top. It is. Except you didn't wear one today because you're I, disloyal. Because I, I I am disloyal. just not just completely. Like, He's not a t-shirt guy. Not a t-shirt guy, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Tom, Tom shows up most days, Zoom calls, and he's in a full suit. And I'm just suited, like, suited and booted. Yeah. You know, look yeah. the part, right? <laughs> Bow tie on. Like he's ready to go. He's ready a, to go. A gray suit, though. It has to be a gray suit. Yeah, gray suit. suit. Gray suit. You know, right, yeah. you got to let him know I, I ain't here to play. I ain't yeah, here to mess around. Especially because it's after Labor Day. Right. <laughs> 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 oh, goodness. Anyway, 10 minutes, right? Yeah, so, 10 minutes. One shot. Six Tuesday. No one, well, you know, no mistakes. Some good ones today. Um, some 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 real spicy meatballs. I know we said that a bunch of times here on the show, but man, there's some whew, there's some good ones today. I'm not gonna repeat for the audience what I uh said to Tom <laughs> and Slack when I saw this one, but this <laughs> one uh it's a PG it's, show, Jason. You know, woo! we can't be can't be saying those things. <laughs> no, no, I cannot. But it, it's CVE 2024-434-91. And that's uh, Microsoft Windows Update RCE. And this one is, it's it's a doozy. And it's somewhere that you, you know, like you said, you know, whether it's your updater, right? Which is like near and dear to us at, at Autobox, right? Because what do we do? We do, uh, we apply updates and we, we, you know, managed configurations. So like yeah. we get this one on sort of an emotional level that having a, a CVE at 9.8 in this in Windows update, really bad. Um, and this one, this one has the exploitation more likely. Right. Um, so no current exploitation in the wild known, but that probably won't last. And this is, it. I, I think this is a pretty juicy target. Wouldn't you think, Tom? Yeah. And I found it interesting that it's very sparse on the details too. Yeah. Right. Like they're not trying to tip, give anything away because it's. I don't blame them. <laughs> right. Likewise. Like I, I like more, but this is also one of those ones that like you just read the title alone and you're like, yeah, that's, that's, that's a do it now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I'm really curious, like the, the attack vector here too. Like, is this, you know, like a bad, where are we getting these updates from? Right, that is it just yeah, like some out yeah. of is bounds it, thing, or I'm just or is it I a, wish I knew a little bit more. Is a configuration thing like you know Windows 10 has that ability to um, pull updates from peers and right, so is it using that sort of thing? But it right. doesn't say anything about the internet versus on network. I mean, the good news about this is this is not every version of Windows. It's Windows 10. Um, as Tom said, pointed out to me, Tom said, Hey, it's only windows 10. And I said, Oh, well, it's only 64% of the market. No big deal. Just three or four computers <laughs> in the world. You know, it's just, just a few. Just a I few. mean, 60, well, I, actually it's, well, it's, it's less than that. So that's, sorry. I, the number I gave you is that 64% of the current windows market. So it is the predominance of windows systems, but not of the overall market, but still like that is a massive chunk of the internet, no matter how you slice it. And you know, in your update process, right? Like, so this isn't, 
you know, we don't know all the details, but like, no matter how you slice it, like getting RCE through your update process probably means better than average shot that you can corrupt that update process to not only, not only do whatever malicious thing, like your primary goal, but also to sort of lock it out so that it can't yeah. pull updates. So it's lying about what updates it pulls, right? Like this is one where if you're going to patch it, like patch it now, like right yeah, away now. Absolutely. This it, it's vaguely familiar to something. I think maybe last year or the year before that, something similar like this happened in windows update itself. And I don't know if it was an RCE or something with, they weren't verifying the searching correctly. And when it was using TLS, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I'm pretty sure this isn't the only one I've seen in the last couple of years that was, you know, directly impacted Windows Update. But this is one of those, you know, put your tinfoil hat on ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This Correct. is this one's spicy, and yeah, I I would love to have this one in my uh, in my old life. Although this, uh, it, I'll be honest, this is one that uh, would have definitely been disclosed to the vendor if <laughs> if the government had found it. Like this is not one that anyone would play with because that's whoa, that's that's yeah. bad. Yeah, um, absolutely. Speaking of spicy, I think the uh, yeah the market really took a you know they took a lot of spice to those that YubiKey vulnerability that came out recently. People were yeah panicking. It, it seemed like to me, at least on LinkedIn, all the uh, inf yeah well, infosec I, influencers, right? <laughs> it, yeah, and and when we looked at it, like you know, hey, with specialized equipment, the ability to extract keys like that, you know that's a much lower threat than some sort of, you know, I can remotely cryptographically guess or, or assert myself as a key, right? right? Like, like, you know, one of your employees has to get their keys lost or stolen and, and lost or stolen with, by the, the right actor who's got a lot of resources and knowledge and expertise to be able to clone it. But at the same time, like it is so fundamental to the security role those things play. And yeah, why they're important um to security that that like it really gets your attention of like i mean when i you saw when i sent it <laughs> when i sent you the link i was like yeah. oh no this is, <laughs> right and it, and it wasn't nearly as bad as as it looked at first glance but like there is an emotional mm -hmm. impact to, to having something as fundamental as a yubikey with a security issue yeah absolutely that first initial reaction is always going to be a vulnerability and the yubikey's all goodness and it's tough to replace, right? Like, those, yeah. it's it's not an easy thing to replace because they're you can't really back you can't back it up. Like that's the point, right? Yeah, like and, and and you can switch what key types you're using, I believe, to mitigate it. But like, have fun walking your users through that, right? Like, just getting them to use YubiKeys in the first place and not be, you know, baffled by this, you know, mysterious piece of technology is painful enough, right? And doing that deep configuration with them is not something many IT departments are even want to do, you know? Right. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think I should shout out this last final one that we, it gave us a good chuckle was 2024. <laughs> Four three four six three, the RCE <laughs> and Vizio. <laughs> that one's just funny. <laughs> I can't not help but talk about it for a couple minutes here, since we're already over on time. And you know, <laughs> Vizio yeah. users everywhere uh, are <laughs> deeply upset. I mean, and there are dozens of them. Dozens. <laughs> yes, twenty-two probably total. <laughs> yeah, right. But you know, uh, a crafted file can cause rce and in, in visio you know a specifically crafted file the details are a little light but i guess watch where you're downloading your visio files from right don't yeah. download them from yeah, pastebin or yeah don't trust repos. <laughs> don't trust random, random visio files who just you know come up to you in public and want to be your friend yeah absolutely absolutely if a stranger well, cool. offers you a diagram, you say no. <laughs> it's on this USB drive I found right. in the parking lot, you know? <laughs> so it's legit. Right. Absolutely. So we're, you know, we're coming to the end. Thanks again, everyone, for tuning in and listening. We appreciate all the support. Go follow Automox on YouTube. 
There's other great podcasts that we produce. Jason has his own special by himself podcast because he's fancy. You should go <laughs> check it out if you have time. You know, if not, happy Patch Tuesday. Happy September, everybody. And have a great rest of your month. Thanks, everyone. Bye.